Caillou makes a meal. Rosie were having fun playing together. Rosie liked copying her big brother. Huh? Hey. Oh. <laughs> That's one sound you won't be able to copy, Rosie. Are you getting hungry, Caillou? Is it almost dinner time? It is, and it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's pizza night! I love pizza night! Did somebody mention pizza night? Hey! I have an idea. Why don't we make pizza tonight? But we always order pizza. It might be a nice change, Caillou. We have fresh dough in the refrigerator. And lots of yummy toppings, so we can make pizza just the way we like it. Caillou wasn't so sure. Making pizza seemed like it would take a long time. Wouldn't it be faster if the pizza man brought pizza to our house? Faster isn't always better, Caillou. Besides, there's nothing more fun than making homemade pizza. Okay, Mommy. I'm ready to help. First, you need to wash your hands. And you too, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough soap for now. Now that your hands are nice and clean, I have a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Every chef needs an apron. Flowers! And a dinosaur, just like Rexy. <laughs> now we look like real chefs, Rosie. Here you go. You each get some pizza dough. This doesn't look like pizza. That's because we have to turn it into pizza. And to do that, we have to knead and roll the dough. It feels squishy, like modeling clay. <laughs> you have pizza dough on your nose, Rosie, like a clown. <laughs> now, we're ready to roll the dough. Give it a try, Caillou. Back and forth with your rolling pin. <laughs> it's working. It's getting flat. That's it, Caillou. <laughs> Look, Rosie, there's one big pizza and two little ones. Can I have my own pizza, Daddy? Both you and Rosie can have your own pizza, and you can decorate it. But first, we need to put on some tomato sauce. I can do that. Oh, no! I got sauce on my apron. That's all right, Caillou. That's what aprons are for, to help keep your clothes clean while you work in the kitchen. Rosie thought her apron needed some pizza sauce, too. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough pizza sauce for now. It's time to put on the pizza toppings. Mmm, tomatoes, chicken, spinach, <laughs> onions, yuck! That's okay, Caillou. You don't have to put onions on your pizza. Caillou began decorating his pizza. He was being very careful not to let anyone see it. How's it going, Caillou? Great! I'm making a picture, but I want it to be a surprise. Do you like my pizza? It's a picture of me. Oh, yes, I can see that. It looks just like you, Caillou. I think it's time to put these pizzas in the oven. Can I help? Sorry, Caillou. This is a job for grown-ups. The oven is very hot. But you could help me set the timer. Okay. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Push this little button right here, Caillou. Now we'll wait for the timer to ring and tell us when the pizzas are done. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to wait for the pizzas to be done. He wanted to eat right away. I'm hungry too, Caillou. 
but you can't rush a good pizza. was growing tired of waiting for the timer to ring. Five more minutes. I don't think these pizzas are ever going to cook, Mommy. Maybe we should play for a few minutes until they're done. I know! We can play restaurant! I'll be the waiter and you can be my customers, okay? Okay. Okay. I've never been to Caillou's Pizza Parlor before. <gasps> what a lovely place! My name is Caillou, and I'll be your waiter. Can I take your pizza order? Sure. Let's see. We'd like to order 22 pizzas, please. We're very hungry. <laughs> okay. What would you like on them? Caillou was having fun being a waiter. He even <laughs> pretended to write down his customers' orders. Let's see. We'll have one with chicken and mushrooms. Peppers! That's right. Peppers. And how about a pineapple and ham pizza? <laughs> or maybe a cauliflower and mashed potato pizza. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Soon Caillou was laughing so much, he forgot all about the real pizzas cooking in the oven. Until... <laughs> Our pizzas! They're ready! What do you think, Caillou? It's yummy. I think we should make pizza every Friday night. It sounds to me like Caillou's Pizza Parlor is a big success. <laughs> it sure is. And that's how Caillou learned that making food at home can be lots of fun. Caillou's new groove. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going away on an overnight trip. <laughs> Rosie, come too! Something tells me you wouldn't be interested in a grown-up golf trip. <laughs> but who's going to take care of us? Don't you remember? Grandma and Grandpa are going to spend the night. Yay! Grandma, Grandpa! Grandma, Grandpa! That's probably them now. Hi there, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. It's our pleasure. We're going to have lots of fun, aren't we, kids? Yeah! Fun! <laughs> have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. Watching Mommy and Daddy leave gave Caillou a funny feeling in his tummy. But Rosie felt even worse. Okay, Rosie. There, there, Rosie. We're going to have so much fun together. You and I and Grandpa and Caillou. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Caillou noticed how quiet the house was without Mommy and Daddy. Who's hungry for grilled cheese sandwiches? Me! me. I'm hungry. Caillou loved grilled cheese sandwiches. He couldn't wait to eat lunch until Grandma served the sandwiches a little differently. That's not how Mommy makes them. She always cuts them straight across. Blue plate! Blue plate! And Mommy gives us blue plates with carrots, not celery. Not to worry. Grandpa and I just do things a little differently, but we'll work it out. Here you go. Oh, no. Those aren't for Caillou and Rosie. These ones are. Right, kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about these ones? Or these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop. That's right. Yay! There. Now everybody's happy. Caillou and Rosie were happy. 
Grandma's grilled cheese sandwiches were almost as good as Mommy's. Grandpa, can you tie my shoe, please? I sure can. That's not the way Mommy does it. It's a double knot to make sure they're nice and snug. There, see? Now they're <laughs> super tied, never to come undone shoes. Caillou still wasn't sure he liked how Grandpa tied his shoes, but they certainly were very snug. Where's my paddle boat? I can't find it, Caillou. How about Froggy? No, I always have a bath with my paddle boat. Well, maybe you'll just have to do things differently this time. Froggy here could be lots of fun. Hey, can I try? Caillou had to admit Froggy was kind of fun. <laughs> I don't want a different pair of jammies. I want my horsey jammies. But they're in the wash, Caillou. Oh, well, I like different jammies. Maybe they'll fit me. Hmm, how do you put on pajamas? Does this go on your head? Or maybe you wear this like a cape. Or how about backwards? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you wear jammies like this! Ah! So that's how it goes on. Let's see. Goldilocks and the three stairs. Bears! Oh, yes. Bears it is. One day, Goldilocks said, What a beautiful house in the forest! That's not Goldilocks. Mommy and Daddy do the voices differently. Oh, you mean Goldilocks should sound like this? No, Goldilocks. How about like this? No, Goldilocks talks like this. Hi, I'm Goldilocks. Ooh, then Mama Bear should sound like uh, I'm Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, Mama Bear talks like this. And Papa Bear talks like this. Caillou liked Grandma and Grandpa's new voices. <laughs> they were even sillier than Daddy's. <sighs> oh, dear. We better finish this story. It's almost bedtime. Grandma, I know something different we could try. You do? What's that? Letting me and Rosie stay up late. <laughs> I think that might be a little too different for tonight. We're home! Hi! Did you have a nice trip? We sure did. <laughs> What's happening over here? Mommy! Daddy! Daddy! We've decided it's okay to do things differently, like sitting upside down. Oh, that's right. But I think sitting right side up is still my favorite. Do Grandma and Grandpa have to go now? Grandma and Grandpa, no go! I think we can stay a bit longer. Yay! Yay! Now, who wants grilled cheese sandwiches? With carrots. Me! Me! Me, Me too! Caillou and Rosie realize that doing things differently can be just as much fun. Caillou goes bowling. Did you have fun at preschool today, Caillou? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. A picture of Gilbert. Do you like it? I love it, Caillou. It looks just like him. We have a surprise for you, too. Grandpa's coming over, and he's going to take you somewhere special. 
That's probably him now. Grandpa, where are you taking me? <laughs> what, no hug, Caillou? <laughs> That's better. Now I'll tell you, I'm going to take you bowling. Bowling? Caillou was surprised. He had never been bowling before. Isn't that for grown-ups? No, I learned how to bowl when I was your age. And now I'm going to teach you at the bowling alley. The bowling alley? Couldn't we just bowl in the backyard? I think you'll really like the bowling alley, Caillou. It has bowling pins and balls, and it's a fun place to get some exercise. What do you say we give it a try? Okay. Here we are. At first, Caillou was a little nervous, especially when he heard the loud knocking of the pins. But when Caillou looked around, he was pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, look! It's my friend Sarah! Sarah! Seeing a friend at the bowling alley made Caillou feel even better. Are we going to play now, Grandpa? As soon as we get our shoes. Can't I wear my own shoes? I'm afraid not, Caillou. These are special shoes, made for bowling on the wooden alleys. This is my grandson's first time bowling. Well, you're in for a fun time there, laddie. Let's see, I'll put you in lane three. Lane three. Thanks, Amos. Now you look like a champion bowler. So we each get a few practice balls, and here's where we get them from. It's called the ball return. To be careful when we're grabbing a ball. We don't want the balls to pinch our fingers. Okay, Grandpa. I'll be careful. Now, do you see those pins? The idea of the game is to knock down as many pins as you can. Each pin is worth points. This computer will keep track of our points and tell us our score. Now, watch your old Grandpa. I'll show you how to throw the ball. Wow, Grandpa! You knocked them all down! Indeed! When that happens, it's called a strike. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. Uh, it's heavy, Grandpa! Maybe you should roll the ball down the alley with both hands. Like your friend Sarah. When the ball lands on the side like that, it's called a gutter ball. It happens to everyone, <laughs> even me. The trick is to aim the ball right down the middle. Try again. I did it! I knocked down a pin! Now Caillou was feeling more confident. <laughs> Hooray, Caillou! I knew you could do it. Now, there's one more thing I need to teach you. Really? What's that? My handy-dandy bowling high five. Now we're ready to play. Oh, do you think Sarah and her mom could play with us, Grandpa? Sure, I don't see why not. Let's ask them. Your mom is good, just like Grandpa. Look at all the strikes. She plays on a team with other bowlers. They get lots of practice. It's your turn, Caillou. Yeah! I knocked down a pin! That's the way, Caillou. Two 
plus one is four pins. That's a lot of points, isn't it, Grandpa? <laughs> it sure is. Way to go, Caillou. You're doing very well. Thanks again for the game. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Sarah. That was fun. I'm glad you think so, Caillou, because I have another surprise for you. Caillou could hardly wait to see what the next surprise would be. So, did you have a good game? We sure did. Caillou bowled a terrific game for a beginner. Well then, this is for you. For me? But I didn't win. Everybody wins when they come out and try something new, Caillou. You deserve a ribbon. Wow, thanks. And I threw the ball and knocked down the pins and we wore special shoes. And look, the nice man at the counter gave me a ribbon. I'm so proud of you, Caillou. Yes, it sounds like you had lots of fun at the bowling alley. I did. Does this mean you'll go bowling with me again? Yes, can we go tomorrow? Caillou had learned that it's always good to try new things, like bowling. Olive muddle. When is Grandma getting here? You two are certainly excited to have Grandma babysit today. Maybe it has something to do with her promise to bring over something special to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it is. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma's here! Grandma's here! Now, don't worry. The kids will be just fine. You have a good time golfing. Bye-bye! Goodbye! Be good for Grandma. Okay. Have fun, kids. So, are you ready for some treats? Treats? Yes, please. I went to a special cooking class yesterday and learned all about olives. Did you know they're healthy and delicious? Caillou had never even heard of olives before. He wondered what they tasted like. I made some homemade Italian olive bread. Try some. The olives look like chocolate chips. Yummy! Rosie really liked the bread, so Caillou thought he would like it too. Caillou didn't know what to do. He knew it wasn't polite to spit out his food. So, what do you think? Caillou didn't like the taste of olives, but he didn't know how to tell Grandma. It tastes, um, great. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't sure you'd like it, but now that you do, I have lots more olive treats in store for you. Yay! More? <laughs> Kids, snack time! I hope you like crackers with a special dipping sauce. Can't you just smell the... Olives. <laughs> olives! Caillou didn't want to eat the special dipping sauce, so he came up with a clever way to avoid it. I better go check on the oven. Here, Caillou, help yourself to some more. Caillou! Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are we having for dinner? Pizza! Yay! Caillou loved pizza, especially the way Grandma made it. Caillou could hardly wait. Olives? That's right. Your favorite and mine. Olives. <laughs> Rosie, too. Caillou didn't want to eat the pizza, but he couldn't think of a way to tell his grandma.
Are you hungry? <gasps> no, Gilbert! Something the matter, Caillou? No, I, uh, just saw some dirt on the floor and decided to clean it. There, all gone. Whew. Clean plates. How wonderful. Since you both like olives so much, I'll have to make more olive treats in the future. And just wait till you try my special homemade dessert. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to think about what Grandma had in store for him next. <sighs> Doesn't it look yummy? Eat up! Caillou couldn't stand to eat another olive. He realized he needed to tell Grandma how he felt about them. So, who's ready for some dessert? Ozzy, too! I don't like olives! <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't like the taste. Why didn't you say something before, Caillou? I didn't know how to tell you. And you worked so hard to make us all those treats. Caillou was sure Grandma would be upset with him. <laughs> Oh, Caillou, I'm glad you told me how you feel. Aren't you mad at me? No, everyone has different tastes. You don't like olives, and I don't like beets. To each his own. Besides, I think it's nice that you were worried about my feelings. Caillou was relieved, especially when Grandma revealed her special homemade dessert. Oatmeal cookies! Caillou was delighted. There wasn't a single olive in sight. So, did you have a fun day? Oh, we sure did! Rosie name? You want me to help you put your name on it? Okay. An olive slice? What's that doing in here? Oops. I guess I have some tidying up to do. That day, Caillou learned that he could be honest with Grandma even when it came to her cooking. <laughs> Caillou's clay play. One day, Daddy and Rosie decided to play with some modeling clay, and Rosie was taking charge. Okay. Space robots flying through space. Space robots looking for aliens. Would you boys like to make something out of clay too? No thanks. We're having fun playing space robots. We're looking for aliens. Okay. Just take it easy then. No problem. Space robots. Turbo power! Okay, Rosie, here you go. Your very own clay poodle. Be careful, it's still soft. Poodle! What's our next space robot mission, Caillou? Let's explore more planets. Leo and Caillou continued to play space robots upstairs when they almost had a cosmic crash. Rosie Poodle! Careful! Oops, sorry, Rosie. But I think it's okay. You know, that poodle looks pretty neat. Rosie Poodle! Woof, woof! <laughs> now her poodle is a guard dog. <laughs> beep, beep. Aliens are in the area. We have 
to go. The space food. Wow. Look, alien headquarters. That space poodle needs rescuing. We must escape the aliens' super turbo power. Unfortunately for Caillou, all of his space robot flying made him very dizzy. Whoa! I've got it. Uh-oh. Caillou was worried. He knew how upset Rosie would be if anything happened to her poodle. And that poodle was squash-a-doodled. <gasps> That's right, Rosie. Oh, no! It's Rosie! Quick, hide it! Caillou and Leo tried their best to keep Rosie from entering the room. Rosie Poodle? You can't come in, human. It is not safe. Aliens everywhere. Danger! Code Red, stay away! Rosie, want Poodle! Who wants to go to the park? Me, me, me! Rosie, Rosie! We're gonna stay here with Mommy. Whew, that was close. But what are we gonna do? Rosie will be so upset if she finds out we broke her Poodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo came up with a plan to solve their problem. Let's make another poodle, just like the one we broke. Yeah, maybe Rosie won't even notice. The boys got to work on making a new poodle dog for Rosie. What do you think? It doesn't look like a poodle. It looks like a half elephant, half poodle. It's an elephant poodle. <laughs> the boy's creation seemed to get wackier and wackier. That's not a poodle. It's a hippopotam monkey. <laughs> and the boy's giggling got louder and louder. <laughs> it's a lion noodle. <laughs> <laughs> the boys tried one more time to make a poodle. Ta-da! It looks like a poodle. Um, well, sort of. It doesn't look anything like the one Daddy made with Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Mommy! How was the poodle? Oh, no! Rosie's back! Hurry! We need to get this poodle back in front of her dollhouse. If you space robots need to refuel, I made some space lemonade. Animals! Indeed! Some very interesting animals. Hey there. Uh, is there something wrong, Caillou? Caillou felt bad about trying to trick Rosie with their poodle. He decided to do the right thing. We were having fun with our space robots, but we got a little carried away and... and... and we squished Rosie's clay poodle. We tried to make a new one, but it's not very good. Caillou turned to Rosie, expecting her to be very upset. He was surprised to see she was so happy. I'm glad you boys admitted to your mistake. But Rosie found the other animals you made. And I think she loves them even more than the poodle. Aminals! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I like your aminals. They're very inventive. Thanks. Look, Rosie, this one's a hippopotamonkey. 
And this one's a lion noodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo had learned an important lesson. It was much better to own up to their mistakes and tell the truth. Mrs. Howard was cleaning up her cellar. It wasn't an easy job. Hmm. The Lightning Ball Express. Uh... Oh, hello, Mrs. Howard. Come in. I hope you don't mind, but I brought over something special. I think Caillou's going to love it. Hello, Caillou. I have something to show you. The Lightning Ball Express. It's a perfect scale model of a coal-fired train, complete with caboose. Choo-choo? That's right, Rosie. A train. An electric train. It was my son's favorite toy when he was growing up. Why, I hadn't seen it in years. Wow, it's great. I know what. How would you like to borrow it for a while? Really? Yes, please, Mrs. Howard. Thank you. Caillou was very happy. He couldn't wait to try out Mrs. Howard's train. <laughs> All aboard! Choo -choo. For the rest of the day, Caillou sent Mrs. Howard's train traveling all over the house. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my train of thought. Does the conductor want a snack? time with Mrs. Howard's train. All aboard! Attention! The Caillou Express is pulling into Gilbert the Cat Station. <gasps> oh no! Mrs. Howard's train! What am I going to tell Mrs. Howard? Caillou was very upset. He had broken Mrs. Howard's train. He didn't know what to do. Caillou, is everything okay? I heard a noise. Everything's fine. I was just, uh, making up sounds for the train. Uh, crisp smash, crunch, blam. <laughs> okay. Caillou wanted to make sure Mrs. Howard never found out about the broken train. He knew she'd be very upset. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Well, then, I think you've spent enough time indoors. How about a trip to the park for some fresh air? Okay. Caillou was having so much fun on the swings, he forgot all about Mrs. Howard's broken train. Hello, Caillou! <gasps> that was a close one. Caillou didn't want Mrs. Howard to find him because he didn't want to explain what happened to her train. 
Hi, Caillou. I was hoping to run into you. Look what I found for the train set. A cattle car. Uh, thanks. Oh, that was odd. Yes, indeed. As Caillou and Mommy walked home, he worried they would run into Mrs. Howard. All right, Caillou. What's this all about? Why are you hiding? Hiding? I'm not hiding. Caillou! I found another piece to add to the train set. A water tower. Oh, well, isn't that nice, Caillou? Now, where did he go? That's the second time he's done that today. I wonder what's wrong. Is it something I said? Caillou, can you come out here, please? Mrs. Howard and I would like to speak with you. Oh, hi, Caillou. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Ducky and I are just having a little soak. <laughs> hi there, Caillou. Uh, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there something the matter? your train, Mrs. Howard. Oh, the old Thunderball Express. Broken again. I'll let you in on a little secret, Caillou. My son broke this train hundreds of times. I became an expert on how to fix it because it got broken so often. So don't worry, Caillou. Accidents happen. Oh, I'm so glad you're not upset with me. Me too, Caillou. But if anything like this ever happens again, you need to ask for help, rather than covering up your tracks. <laughs> I'll head on home and fix this up right away. All aboard! All aboard. <laughs> Caillou was glad he wasn't hiding from Mrs. Howard anymore, because Mrs. Howard was a fantastic train conductor. Woo -woo! Sarah's kite. Caillou had gone for a bike ride with his daddy. <gasps> Look, a kite. Can we go see Sarah? Sure. Let's go. Hi, Sarah. I like your kite. Thanks, Caillou. It's a Chinese kite. It's made of bamboo and rice paper. Rice paper? <laughs> yeah, but you don't eat it. Did you notice the kite has a dragon on it, Caillou? Yeah, I like dragons. Do you want to fly it? Me? Sure. Is that okay, Daddy? Of course. I'll go and put our bikes away. <gasps> oh, no! Come back here! Whoa! Ugh. Are you all right? Oh, no! Your kite! Oh, I hope it's not broken. felt terrible. He didn't mean to ruin Sarah's kite. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean to break it. I know. <sighs> Accidents happen. Maybe Daddy can help. Daddy! Be careful, Daddy. I'll be careful. Just a little further. Oh, got it! Is it really, really broken? I'm afraid so.
Caillou? Caillou felt responsible for breaking Sarah's kite, but he thought he knew how to fix the problem. I know it's here somewhere. to the old kite. Oh, I see. What a shame. It's all my fault, Mommy. Can we please buy Sarah a new kite? Please? I've got money. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Caillou. Yeah. Thanks, Caillou. I'm sorry, kids. I called the toy store, but they're all out of kites. But I broke Sarah's kite. I have to get her a new one. Maybe we can make a new one, Caillou. I'm sure I could find some instructions on the internet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Caillou wasn't so sure. He didn't think a homemade kite would be as good as a kite from a store. Doggone glue. How are those pictures coming along? <laughs> Look, it's a princess. Nice. Do you like my scary dragon? Ah! <laughs> He's not that scary. A dragon and a princess. Now that sounds perfect for a kite. Bring them here and we'll get started. Okay. Caillou wasn't quite as excited as Sarah. He was afraid a homemade kite wouldn't turn out very well. Can't we call another toy store, Daddy? Maybe another store will have kites. This kite is going to be great, Caillou. You'll see. What do you think? Caillou was amazed. Their homemade kite had turned out very well. I like it. It's windy. Let's see if it'll fly. Okay. I'll help you. I'm right here, Caillou. Something looks different. Oh, I think I see what's wrong. The string is tied to the wrong place. You're right, Sarah. Here, let me fix it for you. No glue on my fingers, I promise. There, that should do it. Give it a try. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you. Okay, Caillou, let's go. Caillou could hardly believe it. Their homemade kite was really flying. Look at it go! Yay! All right! Caillou, Sarah, good news! I found a toy store that sells kites. We could take a look if you like. No thanks. This kite's great! Yeah, here Caillou, your turn. Caillou and Sarah loved their new kite. It was much better than the kite from the store because they had made it together.
Caillou was very excited. He was having Leo and Sarah over for a special play date. Now that you're all here, what are you kids going to do? Do you want to play in my backyard? <laughs> Murphy likes that idea. So do I. Me too. Caillou, over here. I'm open. Hey, Murphy, that pass was mine. <laughs> Looks like a squashed pumpkin. I guess we'll have to find something else to do. Do you want to toss a disc? Sure. But let's be quiet so we don't wake up Murphy. <laughs> Throw it to me! Throw it to me! Wow! You're really good at this. Nice catch, Sarah. Ugh. You. Oh, no. Daddy, can you get our disc? Sorry, Caillou. I loaned our ladder to a neighbor. Looks like you'll have to find something else to do for a while. Caillou looked around the yard, but there wasn't a toy in sight. Um, I know. Let's play with the toys in my room. I've got sculpting clay. Yeah, and remote control cars. And tabletop hockey. Hey. Caillou had lots of exciting toys, but there was a small problem. He couldn't get into his bedroom. What's wrong, Caillou? Sorry, you can't come in. I'm painting your room, remember? Oh, I forgot. But I just wanted to get some of my toys to play with. All of your things are packed in boxes right now, Caillou. And there's paint everywhere. You'll have to wait a little while, okay? Okay. Sorry, guys. No modeling clay. Or remote control cars. Or tabletop hockey. That was nice of you to fetch your skipping rope, Sarah. Yeah, this is fun. Playing with Sarah's skipping rope was ideal until Murphy awoke from his nap and decided to join in the fun. No, Murphy, no! <laughs> Murphy thought this was a fantastic game. <laughs> Murphy? <laughs> Good dog. I got it! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need a new skipping rope. That's the third one this week. Caillou was feeling frustrated. His play date was not turning out how he'd hoped. Hi, kids. Hi, Mommy. Is it okay if we look for something to play with? Sure, but I don't think you'll find much down here. Aw, just gardening stuff. I found some tennis balls and sticks. <sighs> Whoopee. Rubber gloves. Caillou and his friends looked around, but all they found were odds and ends. It seemed there wasn't anything to play with. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm opening up old cans of paint. I plan to mix the colors together to make a new color for your dresser. As Caillou watched Mommy, he suddenly had an idea. Maybe we can make up something new, too. Like a new game with all the tennis balls and sticks and stuff. Yeah, okay. The kids worked very hard at creating their new game. We can each have our own ball. A 
and special sticks. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it right. I must say, this is going to be one interesting playing field. Looks like we've got our goalie. <laughs> no, Murphy, that's not for you. Caillou and his friends were now ready to play their game. They even had a name for it. Yay! Fun ball! <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen in Fun Bowl. The only rule is to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I've got your ball. <laughs> Caillou! I finally have some toys and games for you. Thanks, Mommy. But we don't need them anymore. Our new game is lots of fun. Well then, I'd better let you get back to it. Come on, let's play! Oh, he scores! Goal! Nice one! <laughs> Murphy! That day, Caillou and his friends had lots of fun together. They didn't need toys or games. They made their own fun. <laughs> Leo? Thanks! My mom bought me this cool marker. It glows! Really? Yeah, but it only glows in the dark. You have to see it at night. Caillou was intrigued. He'd never seen a marker that glowed in the dark before. Can I borrow it? Uh, I don't know. I really need it. I'm supposed to make a special birthday card for my grandma. Please, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. Well, um, okay. Just don't forget. Promise. <laughs> Caillou was very excited to try out Leo's marker. He could hardly wait to see how it glowed in the dark. There. Cool. Not dark enough yet. Caillou, dinner time! Caillou knew that dinner time meant it would soon be dark outside. Then the marker would really glow. Coming, Mommy! <laughs> I'm glad you like your peas, Caillou. But slow down. You must really be hungry tonight. Uh-uh. I'm in a hurry. What's the rush? I can't wait for it to be dark. <laughs> Did you hear that, dear? Caillou's in a hurry to go to bed tonight. Bedtime? <laughs> no. I borrowed Leo's marker. It glows in the dark. I'm going to try it out. I bet it's really glowy. I have to admit, that's a pretty neat marker. And a very nice drawing. Thank you, Daddy. It is pretty glowy. <laughs> Don't forget to give Leo his marker back tomorrow. I won't. Come on over here. <laughs> hey, Caillou. Can I have my marker back? <laughs> oh, no. I forgot it. But you said you'd bring it. I'm sorry, Leo. I'll bring it tomorrow. What if you forget again? I need it. I haven't made a card for my grandma yet. I'll remember. I promise. Hey, do you want to help me build a tower? Okay. Bye, Caillou. Don't forget. 
Forget what? Caillou had already forgotten about his promise to Leo. My marker! You promised to bring it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Caillou wasn't sure how he'd remember to bring Leo's marker. Mommy, how do you remember things? Remember things? Well, sometimes I write them down. Like my grocery list when we go shopping. But what if you can't write? Well, I'd probably draw a picture to remind myself. Yeah! Caillou thought that was a great idea. He'd draw a picture to remind himself of Leo's marker. Aha! Uh -huh. There! Now I won't forget. Hey there, Caillou. How about a quick game of soccer before dinner? Yeah, okay. Marker? Oh no! I forgot again! Caillou! You promised! I'm sorry. I drew a picture to remind me. I put it on my dresser, but I didn't see it. You need to remember. I know. I'm sorry. I'll bring it tomorrow. I triple promise. Caillou felt really bad. He wanted to make it up to Leo. Here, Leo. You can have some of my stickers if you want. Thanks. I can use them on my grandma's card. When I make it. Remember to clean desks. Caillou needed to find a way to remember Leo's marker. And seeing Miss Martin stick a reminder note to her desk gave him an idea. Leo, can I have one of my stickers back? How come? I have an idea to help me remember your marker. <laughs> Caillou, time to get up. I don't need a straw. <gasps> Leo's marker! Leo, I brought your marker! You remembered! Now I can make a card for my grandma! <laughs> if I remember. Now you'll remember. <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. Leo was happy to borrow Caillou's sticker. And Caillou was happy to have a way to always remember something important. Mm -hmm.